Hi guys, I'm John from Switchbird. I just wanted to give you a quick taste of how we're incorporating conversational AI into our business messaging platform. Now you can check this out for yourself here at our chatbot playground. This is where we've exposed some of the automation and AI tools from inside Switchbird outside it uh, for anyone to try out risk-free, to create bot concepts uh, that you can then share with your uh, clients or colleagues. It is a good sales tool, uh, by the way. Um, and for Switchbird customers, you'll recognize these tools, uh, but you can go one step further and deploy your creations uh, to your Switchbird inboxes and thence to your phone numbers and Facebook pages and Google business profiles and Instagram accounts, etc. cetera. Um, because that's what this is all about at the end of the day. We want to use uh, AI and automation to help us solve real business challenges in messaging uh, that really comes down to customer communications. And uh, so we're going to look at how we can take a simple bot uh, for an example business right here on the playground and see if we can uh, start to solve uh, for some common uh, scenarios. So um, I'll just create a dummy bot here. Uh, just the demo for Acme. And we'll go ahead and give it a, an avatar. And then on a Google Business Profile, when someone clicks the chat call to action, they get a uh, preset uh, greeting or welcome message. Uh, so we'll just add something simple here. Uh, we could always uh, do some fancy stuff with this, like add clickable suggested replies that route the customer to different uh, you know, different behaviors and flows. Um, but we're keeping this super simple for the demo and we're in, right? And in fact, we're just going to focus on SMS, knowing that we can take this uh, same uh, bot and deploy it across uh, all the channels. Um, but we're going to stay in SMS and, you know, just imagine a simple uh, business case where our bot is created now. Uh, it's a blank slate. It doesn't have any business intelligence, uh, but we can see some of the, the baked in uh, behaviors here up top for SMS include things like handling, you know, uh, opt in, opt out instructions, uh, or um, let's say texting back a missed call or texting back every caller and uh, engaging them uh, in text messaging, which is, uh, allows us to, to use our, our bot uh, to uh, be responsive 24-7, that kind of thing. So, um, so that is all set up here. And in fact, let's imagine we are um, Acme building products, and that will make sense when I go to the, the next step. Um, so we're Acme building products, and let's say we've got a, a showroom, and our, our staff is working the showroom, and, and they're not that responsive to calls. And so we know we're getting calls uh, that are going to voicemail that are just, you know, we're, aren't being engaged. Um, so let's imagine that we want to solve for this, and so we're going to turn on, uh, you know, call, uh, always text back missed calls, or always text back calls, uh, and um, engage them with a flow here. So you can see... I can drag and drop a flow. Now, what is a flow? Well, a flow is where we're going to start to add uh, our business intelligence uh, to handle this inbound lead. So here we go. We'll just do something very basic for this flow, but it will use uh, conversational AI. So this is in, distinct, in uh, contrast to um, kind of rules-based automations like what we've uh, built many of in the past, uh, which you build out kind of sequentially. This um, is a different uh, type of approach that is uh, allows us to simply use uh, regular language to instruct our uh, AI bot on how to handle uh, this uh, new contact. And so we, we'll just take the actual um, example here and use that. Now, our instructions tell you what the instructions that you're putting in are about, which is essentially to uh, provide context, uh, direct the bot on tone, and then tell the bot uh, how you want it to handle different scenarios. So um, we've got all that in this example <clears throat> here, so let's walk through it. Um, so we're giving our bot a name, Vern, the uh, automated assistant. Uh, so it's got some uh, personality. We're giving it some context, right? New contacts are interested in our building products, the highest quality home construction materials in North America. That's giving uh, our bot some, uh, some information to, to use to relate 
to the um, customer. And now some instruction on tone, of course, enthusiastic, uh, friendly, but definitely use emojis. Uh, and then some scenario handling. So for questions about product or pricing, right, we really want to get this customer uh, or this lead uh, into the showroom. That's where our staff is. That's where we're closing deals. Uh, so that is what we're trying to do. And we're going to uh, instruct Vern here to, to do it um, if he can. Uh, otherwise, we have this kind of catch-all. This is the <laughs> this is the lazy man's bot, right? Um, we could, you know, handle different frequently asked questions right here, or uh, do this in a, a more clever way. But um, we're just going to throw the FAQ page uh, out there as uh, kind of a catch-all for anything that isn't handled by the uh, previous instructions. And that's just basic, simple bot. Um, now we'll uh, set a temperature. Um, this is going to be, uh, you know, low if we want our bot to kind of stick to the script and, and uh, not get too creative. Uh, I like to have a little heat in there, um, which increases creativity, but also volatility. So if you've heard about, you know, uh, chat bots, hallucinating and whatnot, uh, this uh, higher temperature uh, can can open up the uh, greater potential for that. So uh, just know, know that, but we should be fine for this um, use case. And there we go, we've created it and now we are interacting with Vern, um, <clears throat> which we can do right here, right? And, and he'll re respond to us, right? Like, I don't know, what are your devices, right? Vern should instruct us to visit the showroom, I would think, um, based on our instructions. There you go, helpful to visit the showroom and look, it's trying to close the deal. So great, um, that looks good. But where this is really powerful, of course, is to see it in the uh, context uh, that we talked about, which is um, our kind of full simulator out here. So, um, right, we have to take our flow and bring it into uh, our set of instructions here. And now when we simulate the full, um, customer experience, uh, we see uh, how powerful this is. Remember, this is a company that is, you know, not picking up the phone, not returning phone calls. Uh, so here's what happens when I try to call them. Thanks for calling. Did you know you can also text us at this number? We already sent you a message to start the conversation. I'll just stop her there. And you can see uh, how this worked, right? I called, I got the prompt, and immediately I got a text back, and then I got a text from Vern uh, that is uh, engaging me and uh, you know ready to um, to uh, help me out. So uh, let me just go ahead and not be too linear here and say, look, I'm building a house, All right? This is a uh, building products company. I'm building a house. Great. Uh, he's, he, Vern is using the, um, the uh, language we gave him and he's going right ahead to try to close the deal because that's what we asked him to do, uh, which is great, right? He won't want to get this person into the showroom. That's how we're going to, uh, that's how we're going to do it. So um, let's uh, be a pain in the ass and say, uh, you know, can I come in on... Saturday, right? You just told us they're there Monday to Friday. Um, but you know how customers can be. Um, oh, Vern is, Vern is uh, you know, laying down the law. Unfortunately, the showroom is open Monday to Friday. Is there another day or time that will work for you? Um, okay, so uh, let's do Monday. And oh, misspellings. Uh, let's see if Vern can handle it. Great. Yes, he's, he's really locking me down here, wants me to come in at a particular time. Uh, so let's uh, just give him what he wants here. Um, and we'll come in at one. And there we go. And he used emojis all the way, clock emoji, the, <laughs> the confetti emoji. Uh, a lot of personality and, you know, went from what would have been a um, call that went to voicemail that never got returned 
uh, to a text conversation that um, got me hooked to come into the showroom on Monday where uh, all the action is happening, the salespeople are, and they're uh, doing their deals. So um, we can already see in just this simple demo how uh, you know a, a very easy to create um, a piece of, of, uh, of technology uh, can be uh, strategically deployed to uh, solve for you know common common business challenges and there are a ton right uh, that you can imagine iterating on this and expanding to uh, when you think about having your own uh, personal chat GPT that uh, knows your brand knows your uh, business processes and then can be used uh, for uh, you know any kind of um, uh, you know, lead nurture, uh, sales follow up, um, you know, uh, customer service triage, that kind of thing. So, um, hopefully, this gives you at least a, a, an entry point into thinking about that. And by all means, uh, check out the playground and let me know what you think. All right, take care.